on my ketchup. Put ketchup on my ketchup. <laughs> That's the weirdest intro I think you're ever gonna see. I leave to New Orleans tomorrow for Millennium Dance Comp. So it's gonna be five whole days of what I do to get ready for competition. So I just got my nails done. There they are. I just got my nails done today. Literally just got out of the salon. So now I am on my way back home. It is 12.15 in the afternoon, so I have some time. I'm gonna go home and pack some more. So let's go. So I'm home with my niece and I am, you can hear her, wow. And I'm just making my checklist of what to pack for a competition in the week, and then I'm going to do my laundry and try and pack up as much as I can before I leave to go to dance. So, let's do all of that now. Ava. <laughs> okay guys, it is currently 12.10 in the morning. I um, taught at the studio and then I had to actually go pick up my smooth dress. So I picked that up, it's on my bed right there. So now it comes the fun part of packing. Competition packing hack number one. Pack all your competition stuff in your carry-on. Pack your dress, your makeup, your shoes, everything in your carry-on because if the airline loses your luggage, it'll be just your regular clothes and that you can just buy there on the spot. Put your dresses and your shoes and all that stuff in your kit. Right. Competition packing cap number two. If you have more than one pair of the same style dance shoes, bring both because you never know what's gonna happen. Competition hack number three, check your airlines. If you can take a carry-on and like a backpack or something. Cause if you can, you have two times the space. Packing hip number four, packing hip, what? Packing hack number four, really just packing in general, not even just for competition, but pack things that you can wear more than once and have different outfits with. So pack like one pair of jeans, one pair of shorts, and then like four different shirts. This is Columbia Place tomorrow. It is now like 8 something in the morning and I am going to take off to the airport in a little bit. I'm wearing my Columbia jersey because Columbia plays today. I'm going to take off to the airport so now I'm just going to make my bed and get myself ready. <laughs> <laughs> so 
So I am quite upset because <laughs> Colombia lost the game, two to one, and then Senegal and Poland, Poland lost the game, two to one. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this World Cup. Yeah, do that if you if you can. It's superhero themed, and there's Wonder Woman everywhere. I don't know how much I'm actually going to be able to record, and I don't know if you can really hear me right now because they're doing awards. I'm going to do as much as I can. I'm going to go practice and then get ready, and then we'll be there. Alright, so I just finished practicing. Now I'm going to tan real quick, do my hair, do my makeup. The soccer game is on again. Non-stop watching soccer games, practicing. That's what my life has consisted of for the past two days and will consist of for the next month <laughs> that the World Cup is on. So I'm going for the whole Wonder Woman look today. So I'm doing a half up, half down type of thing. This isn't gonna be like a in-depth tutorial, but if you can kind of see how I do it. And if you want like a full on step-by-step walkthrough, I can. Starbucks. <laughs> First round of competition done. Still have to wait another four and a half hours before the next round, and that's a semifinal. So we get to go to the room, change, get comfy, eat, okay, and then <laughs> compete again. All right, so I just got ready again, changed out of my comfy clothes. Elevator seat. This whole thing is so high tech, it's so weird. Like, you press your floor and then it will tell you which elevator to, to go on. So, I just finished my first smooth round. It was my championship. I got second. Totally didn't even record most of today or most of last night after my scholarship, but I did place fourth in the scholarship last night out of 11, which was pretty cool. I made the finals. And now I have another smooth championship tonight because I'm doing rhythm and smooth. And then, yeah, so I'm just gonna go get some Starbucks. Um, I don't compete for another like two hours, so yeah. So it is now 12 45 in the morning central time, which is 1 45 in the morning. Florida time, which is where I'm from, so I'm quite exhausted. I just left the competition. I stayed to watch the next session, which was the Pro Rising Star Smooth and Pro Rising Star Latin, plus a whole bunch of Pro-Am open scholarships. It was amazing. I love this competition. It's my favorite. So I wasn't able to really record a bunch from today, but basically, I competed in a smooth championship and a smooth scholarship, placed second in the championship and fourth in the scholarship. Same 
placements that I did in the Rhythm Championship and the Rhythm Scholarship. Overall, really happy with this competition. Tomorrow, it's basically just a relaxing day. And then I head to the airport uh, like later afternoon and then I'm back home. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I think I'm just gonna end it here because tomorrow I'm not really gonna do anything. This is kind of just to show you like how I prep for competition all the way to the end of competition. Until next year, Millennium, thank you so much for being such an amazing competition. I tried to record as much as I could, tried to do this as much as I could, um, but it's just been such a busy week that it was so hard to really keep up with recording a bunch. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you later. Bye!